to you today if you are a subscriber already what's good what's good what's good jay if you are watching this video for the first time if you're just coming onto the channel for the first time i hope you consider subscribing welcome home um and i hope by the end of the video you consider becoming a part of the family so <clears throat> today um we are talking online dating yes you heard that right we're talking online dating today a few days ago on over the weekend actually which is about two days ago i asked people on my instagram a couple of questions related to online dating and the responses I got were quite shocking. I did not expect some of the answers, but I've just decided that we are going to do a five part series on dating and relationships and stuff like that. So we're going to have a five day series. We're going to do five days of five consecutive uploads back to back. So yeah, I hope you get to enjoy something and I hope, most importantly, I hope you get to learn something from this series i hope you learned something from the series and i hope you take away something that actually helps you if anything you learn from this from these videos during the series actually helps you would you please consider sharing with a friend or two one heart at a time let's get into today's topic so we're gonna start talking about online dating just from the top so for the purposes of this v of, of this video online dating will mean signing up on a singles platform to find a date or find a potential spouse or find a boyfriend or a girlfriend, your significant other. And so if the act of putting up your single self on a singles platform in order to meet single people, other single people, that is what we're going to call online dating. Now I know the term online dating can be a bit different to other people because other people consider online meeting to be the same thing as online dating and I don't know if there's quite a difference to be honest. I think the only difference between online meeting and online dating is when you meet online you you bump into each other and then yeah but with online dating you actually go on to a platform where there's other single people and you just their purposes of meeting another person who's single so that you can date them so yeah i will give my experience at the end of the video i'll share my experience with online dating at the end of the video towards the end of the video so if you can stay tuned for that that would help right, as well. the first thing i'm going to talk about is some of the things you need to consider before actually signing up on an online dating platform the first thing you need to consider is why why do you want to sign up for online dating why can you not meet people the traditional way of bumping into people in the street or having friends hook you up or i don't know your mom's friends helping you find someone but why do you want to why do you in particular want to sign up on an online dating site so um that's the first thing you need to ask yourself you need to be very honest if you are shy and you are you are socially awkward meeting people online might help but also might not help because what happens when you have to meet these people so um that's not quite a great reason um but if there's a reason enough for you then okay because i'm not here to tell you what a reason is and what is not good enough for you number two you need to be honest with yourself what exactly are you looking for now i've established why you want to use online dating as a method of finding a significant other the next thing you need to ask yourself is why are you looking for a partner or why are you looking for someone are you looking for someone because you're lonely are you looking for someone because you want to settle down are you looking for someone because you just want to recreationally date which is something i definitely go i don't really believe is good i i'm a christian person i'm a christian young woman and i definitely believe that wasting your time wasting other people's time is actually a sin like god has given you the resource of time so that you use it not waste it so recreational dating to me just doesn't sit right but anyway um so you need to ask yourself why you're doing this because if you are signing up for online dating for the purposes of finding a spouse this will then guide you as to which platform you need to use if you are looking for a hookup 
you're obviously not going to go on to a site that is for intentional dating so you need to get your reasons straight like why are you looking for a person to spend your time with if you're just looking for a friend then okay like okay number three the next thing you then have to consider is what platform you are actually going to sign up for so that just that is mainly determined by the reasons of actually wanting to try online dating so let's say you are looking for and uh, you're looking for a potential spouse if you're looking for a potential spouse and you're christian and you're looking for a certain person who's also christian then a christian site would be a better site to go for it would also help you to do your research as to what um what its app is associated with the reputation its site is associated with in your particular location because you can have a a, a platform like tinder in a certain place being actually something people look at and admire and think hey i could find a person to actually date here yeah, in location a and then in location b tinder is simply for hookups and if you're on that whoever you meet presumes okay this is what you're doing and this is what you're looking for so and you you need to establish and actually do your research first before you sign up on any of these platforms to find out which dating site goes in line with what you're trying to achieve so if you are in a place like um china we don't really use coffee meets bagel we don't use catholic match we don't use christian mingle we don't really use most of those things so that would also determine uh, the next thing the next thing you need to ascertain is are you open to long distance relationships if you're open to long distance relationships then my assumption is you actually you are in a position to travel to meet that person or you are in a position to help with any cost that might be involved with the other person visiting so if you're unemployed perhaps a long distance relationship is not the best thing you should like go out and search for uh, I know like under normal circumstances other people just wouldn't want a long distance relationship but it really is essential to think about these things before you go and put yourself out there like if you're going to take on an on an, uh, a long distance relationship are you ready to actually put in the money because long distance relationships are actually very expensive they require money there's a lot of visiting and traveling it has to happen so you need to actually check if you are in a position to sacrifice your sleep also because if you're in, in different time zones then that comes into play you need to also find out if the other person is okay well that that's that's like that the next stage but anyway yes so make sure you are in a position where you can decide if you want to go long distance if you're open to long distance or if you're strictly close to long distance and you just want to do short distance the next thing you need to consider is are you going for a paid platform or a free platform a paid platform in my experience has a lot of advantages over a free platform a free the free platform allows you to meet people and talk to people at no cost at all but that also means the seriousness that a person is going to invest in conversing with you and trying to get to know you is a less than on a platform where the other person and you both pay to actually communicate so um you need to consider and like think about it do you want something free or do you want something paid if you want something paid you need to look at your budget i honestly feel like if you're going to go on a date you're going to spend money anyway so if you're going to pay a certain amount in order to talk to a person you could potentially go on a date with then it's it's okay it's not going to if it's not going to break your bank then go ahead and sign for a play for a paid platform i mean if you are not in a position to actually pay because of certain reasons it might just be an indication to you that you don't actually you're not serious about trying online dating or maybe you just like freebies and that's fine if you are the freebies type of person okay then continue continue yes would i recommend someone to try online dating yes and no yes it was yes for the very simple fact that i would not have met four or five people that in my day-to-day -day life i would not have met 
I got to meet those people. So it definitely opens doors in the sense of you get to meet people you probably could have not met in your day-to-day -day life. So that's the pro. That's definitely one reason to try it. The second reason I would recommend someone else to try online dating is just that you get to actually analyze yourself because when you sign up for an online dating profile and then you have to write a bunch yourself then you realize just how self-centered or selfish you really are or you realize that you don't actually know yourself and when you realize you don't know yourself you realize you realize you don't have anything to write and this is an invitation to go and learn about yourself first before you come and start trying to frustrate other people making them want to know what you want when you don't actually know what you want on your own so yes um the third reason i'd say you should try online dating if you haven't is why not like you have nothing to lose to be honest however the downside of this is that um you need to be careful of um giving off too much of yourself too soon because this is something that can happen online dating especially if it's long distance relationship uh, if it's a long distance relationship setup you need to make sure that you approach it wisely like you don't give up too much about yourself too soon you don't start telling people about all the witches and the wizards in your house on the first phone call you don't you know like all those things you need to also remember that um just because you're connecting on the phone does not mean you are going to connect in person and if it doesn't happen that way if it happens that you don't connect well in person it's okay to remain friends if you want to remain friends if you don't want to fine but the real downside is that because people are if, if you don't get the chance to go on an actual date then chances are you have a certain part of the person that you know but you don't know them you don't know them you only see what they just they choose to show you over the phone and so to start a relationship just based on that if there's no traveling especially now because it's covered and like it can be very hard it needs you need to have a lot of grit you need to have a lot of grit so that would be my experience if you want to try if you haven't tried it and if you want to try it try a christian platform try if you're catholic try if you're catholic and you want to date someone catholic then try a catholic match i definitely give them like a hundred percent score like those people like they're good because they have an option where you get to actually mention what you're looking for in the person in the sense that like what church teachings do they accept do they accept that jesus is lord do they like basic things that might be basic to you but not basic to the other person are things that you get the chance to choose you get to choose things like education level do you want a person with a phd or not do you want a person with a master's and all like all those things you can filter out stuff and move on to the do's and the don'ts number one the first don't don't judge people by their pictures only like read through people's profiles if you are of the idea of no i just look at the picture once and then if i don't like it that's it like <laughs> it's not gonna work out online dating would be a very painstaking task for you because you just won't enjoy it um however what you should do instead is look at the pictures and read the profile read what they say i have I actually got to know a very good friend um his picture was very ugly turns out he just doesn't know the angle to take selfies with he's just bad at taking selfies and when i had a video call with him i was like what you look like this like how come i don't know you with this far you know so it's something you definitely want to keep an eye out for like make sure you don't discount people solely based on their picture number two don't don't microwave intimacy by sharing too much too soon don't go about oversharing stuff with people you've barely known even if you feel a connection don't just don't dive into like oversharing too much too soon it's not healthy it gives people the impression that something might be wrong with you and three people just don't like no one wants to be associated with too much drama. I'm not saying don't tell people your wounds, but just slowly, 
plenty. Don't overdo it at one go. The first do is mention what is important to you on your profile. Don't don't be shy to be you. If you know that you don't like, um, if you know that you don't want to be a stay-at-home mom, then mention it. Mention you don't see yourself being a stay-at-home mom, and in as much as you respect people who choose that for themselves, then you, in as much as you respect the people that choose that for themselves, you are not essentially or necessarily for the idea. If you don't want to be a working mom, mention it. I don't want to be a working mom because then it gives people an idea. I've met men who just want the wives to be stay at home wives and that's what they want. So if you don't want that, make sure you mention that in your profile. Like mention the things that are just not going to happen for you. But also mention the things that are going to happen. If 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 those things come as part and parcel of you, you owe it to the other person to mention. So, yeah, obviously, put your best foot forward, but be you. Speak out who you are so that it spares the investment and the time wasting so that, you know, like, you don't get caught up in, oh, I don't know who there is if I'd known. Do, please make sure that you actually read through your profile a few times. Make sure there are no typos because other people get put off by typos. So make sure your pictures are clear and you look nice and clean and yeah you know portray yourself in the best way you can i'm just gonna go over to i'm going to uh go on and talk about my experience with online dating if uh you are a good friend of mine from catholic Max, would you please give me a hit texting off of this let me know how i did let me know if this video actually made any sense since you're in the same boat but anyway so um being in china i I'm gonna, I'll be in China. This is my sixth year in China. And I will be very honest because a lot of people in China are not here to stay. China is more of a passageway. It's, it's more of a corridor. You're going somewhere. You're not just here to settle here. At least for the great majority of the international community that's here is actually not here to settle. It's doing stuff leaving doing stuff and going doing stuff and just moving on with your life and so because of this we tend to have a lot of flimsy relationships or relationships where you you are dating just because hey like it's natural what else can we do we've been eating together hanging out together shopping together doing stuff together we've been kissing so perhaps the next best thing is a relationship and so most of the relationships in china don't actually lead anywhere when people most people especially in uni when most people in uni begin to date it's never really with the intention to settle down and so the longevity aspect when you're in china is generally something we don't consider here in china and so this part of my video might not apply to you if you're outside of china but if you are within china then you know what i'm saying you understand like you understand what i'm saying if you don't understand hey you thank good eh? because of us we understand <laughs> Either you're very naive or you're the people. You are them, you know? Okay, well, that's most of us. So, um, yes, um, being in China for a very long time, I just got to a point where I just started taking my faith really seriously. I had an overnight experience with God, quite literally. I've put that up on my Instagram. Let me know if you want me to make an actual video about my testimony, but it's um, the written version is there on my Instagram. So because it's how I take my relationship with God pretty seriously, it it naturally it over it, it there was a spillover effect, you know, um into all my relationships with people, with men, with boys, with family and so dating then ceased to be recreational it then became something quite serious to me like hey if i'm gonna date you i am discerning to see if you're my my spouse if, if you must be my if you are my future spouse or not so if in my head i conclude that no nope, i'm gonna put up with this behavior in future oh no you're just not what i'm looking for oh no this is not i don't believe that we're leading each other closer to god then i just we abort we just abort the mission like there's no point in continuing so um i decided to 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 sign up on catholic match the first time i did that uh it was quite 
in my head i had the impression of oh my gosh oh my gosh i have to find this spouse i've paid my money i need to find this guy now because i paid my money but then with time i realized you know perhaps this is not um the time it's not the time that was some time last year sometime last year sometime early last year mid last year i don't remember but sometime last year and so um because it was a paid platform it pushed me also to not just sit and wait for guys to message me first but it also made me um get out of my comfort zone and actually start looking at people's profiles and reading and if i really felt the strong urge to i'd message people if not i would just not do it and so um although i did not actually meet someone i liked the first time i got to a point where i realized and i learned that's the thing with online dating you're constantly learning you're constantly learning about people you're constantly learning about yourself you're constantly learning about a dating in general so um i was open to long distance relationship because i'm in china so yeah um the first month it didn't go well so because the pay platform i did not want to continuously like keep paying and paying and paying when we know there were there were no new faces i was really interested in so i just decided not to pay and then i paid again for another month um some time ago and i actually met quite a couple of interesting people shout out if you're gonna watch this yeah 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 what's good so I made quite a couple of you. I made quite a lot of not not quite a lot, but I made quite a few good friends to be honest. And I learned a lot. These did not progress into relationships for one reason or the other, but I really learned a lot. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about what I was actually looking for. It gave me the time and the chance to actually kind of refilter and look at what I was looking for, like. The certain things I had not considered before, for instance, how well I argue or how well I put my, my points across in an argument or how well conflicts are resolved, which is a video we're going to do in the five day series. But I had not considered that as something very essential, but going through um, a series of like online dating, uh, 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 it, it taught me a lot about the things that I had to look at and the things that I had to work on on myself as well. So I don't know if this video gave you uh, a few pointers as to what you might find useful if you are going to try online dating or not. If you know a friend who's doing it or trying it, if this video was useful, please give it a big thumbs up. Share with a friend or two. I will see you tomorrow in the next video.